Hey up everybody. Uh, I'm on to the next video on in my pipe work series now and I'm going to cover the injector. Uh, because I'm not very experienced in, in riding these as yet, I've heard people say that don't put your injector where you can't where you're unable to see it very clearly. So you can see that if the water's coming out or not. If it's coming out, it's obviously not pumping it into the boiler. So I, I think a spot for that, I'm going to put it roughly somewhere there. And uh, because I want to cover it every eventuality while I'm doing this pipe work, I've heard some people say that it's not uh, advisable to take water from your tanks because the water eats up at the side of the tanks and it do not let the injector work properly. I don't know, I've, got, I've not. I've not got any experience on that so I don't know. So while I'm doing the pipe work I'm going to also make some pipe work at the same time that I'm going to make an outlet onto my buffer beam either to go to a tender or to a tank in my riding car. I've just drilled all for that there. So in my previous video I did the steam pipe and it's uni and up behind here you can't see because it's behind this bracket. So that's the steam inlet to the injector. That's just going to be a, a little right angle curved piece of pipe to come into the injector there. I've given this a good coat of looking at this uh, water system here. And this is what I've come up with. So as, as I've shown you over on Loco, I'm going to do a, more or less exactly what I said. My brake lever brackets in that position so it's it's in view away from the bracket the injector and what I'm going to do I'm going to make a manifold with two valves on two globe valves uh, which I previously made in, in another video I'll put a link to them and then the manifold is going to be bolted to the under the foot plate of my cab and it's going to sit approximately there so what's going to happen then I'm going to have one pipe bringing the steam from the boiler from that union I made in a in another in another video. That's going to couple up to the injector. Then I'm going to make another pipe that's going to go to the tight valve. Then from the feed from the pannier tanks that's going to come across here to this first valve. And then the feed from the tender or the tank on my riding car is going to come in this way to this second valve so depending which valve I have open I'll be using water from two sources and that's going to feed out the bottom of the manifold across here on a pipe up to the injector so there's one two three four five pipes to make I'm going to make this manifold out of a bit of hexagonal brass bar and then when I've done all that, we'll reconvene and have a look at it. Um, I shan't show you me doing the pipes and soldering them because I've done them in plenty of other my pipe work videos. I've got the manifold made now, most of the pipes, and I'm ready for fitting them to loco. Uh, my manifold, I've drilled a, a hole up the centre where the outlet port is, and then I've cross hole drilled them where the valves fit and then I'm holding it onto my cab floor with just a, a, a bolt into the manifold through the cab floor like that. I'll start off by fitting this uh, this pipe to the steam feed from the boiler. Then this pipe's going to fit be the outlet feed to the clack valve right the manifold is going to fit up to the cab floor now And I've got this this union 
which is going to go through the buffer plate and it's going to screw on to the other side with the locking nut That's me injecting how all dealt with, so job complete, another bit of jigsaw completed. So I'll move on to the next part in my next video. So I'm going to sign off for now then. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.